Yeah, hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today is uh, sulfonamides and uh, cotrimoxazole. It is a, a super hit combination. It is a wonderful combination. It is a successful combination in the medical field. Okay, uh, very important in all the examinations point of view. Uh, yeah, dear students, keep in your mind. Uh, sulfonamides plus trimethoprim. This is a medicine. This is also medicine. Okay. Uh, this is a combination. Cotrimoxazole. So most of the students are confusing here. Cotrimoxazole is a name of the drug. No. It is a name of the combination. Cotrimoxazole is equal to sulfonamides plus trimethoprim. It is a synergistic action. 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. Powerful, very powerful, very powerful. That's why, see the name, Co, Co means two. Since it is a combination, we can be keep in our mind, Co means both, cooperation, like. Trimoxazole, tri, it is equal to three. Like that, you can, so this is a name of the combination. Like that, easily, we can remember. Yeah, here you can see the mechanism of action. Uh, this is appeared in the number of uh, examination, like a GPAD, etc. and all. Uh, sulfur, both are same mechanism only, same cycle, here also, here also. Uh, in the examination, sometimes they will ask, what is the cotrimoxazole mechanism of action? It is nothing but a sulfonamide action as well as a trimethoprim action. Both together, you have to write in the examination, both together, whenever they will use the name cotrimoxazole. If suppose they given only trimethoprim action here, this is a trim, then you have to mention here. Sulfonamide action, only here you have to mention, like that. So it is a dihydropteroic acid synthetase. This enzyme will be killed. This enzyme will be inhibited by the sulfonamides. Okay. So this process will be taking place in the bacteria for their uh, DNA synthesis in the bacteria. So whenever you stop this enzyme, sulfonamides uh, stops this enzyme, automatically all the steps will be blocked. So there is no DNA synthesis in the organism. So finally, organisms will not grow, it will be killed. And this is a double the matha. 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 offer is equal to 2. Uh, trimethoprim inhibits the, this enzyme. Dihydrofolate reductase. Okay. Very, very, very important for all examination. Cotrimoxazole, it is a combination of two. So this is my mobile application. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. So open the app like this, it will be open. Here you can see the store option at the bottom. See here, see the pointer. If you open this, all my notes is available here. B Form C, Form D, M Form C, all courses I am going to be offered for the students purpose only, for the nominal tasks, nominal it's almost free, 99% free. This is about my YouTube channel, our playlist. You go to in my channel, go to playlist. So I have arranged all subject-wise videos. If you click on the subject-wise, you will get a chapter-wise videos. Okay, start reading. Today, world is full of competition. You download it, go through the notes, and you listen all my videos in the my YouTube channel. Yeah, we are moving as per the syllabus. Here you can see the sulfonamides and the cotrimoxazole is a combination. Yeah, what are the sulfonamides? Sulfone plus amide, sulfonamides. Sulfonamides are the derivatives of the para amino benzene, PABA. Uh, para amino benzene, sulfonamide are commonly referred as a sulfonamides. Okay. Sulfonamides are antimicrobial agents, not antibiotics. It works again as to the, uh, see, in my last video, I have already told you, what is the difference between the antibiotics as well as antimicrobial agents? So this is antimicrobial agent, which works against the microorganisms, but it is not derived from the microorganisms. It is synthesized in the laboratory. Here, the, this is a combination. This is the structure of the all sulfonamides. It is a common structure, common. Only R will be changed. If R is equal to this group, sulfa, uh, sulfisoxazole. The sulfi, sulfa methoxazole, if R is this one. So this is only the chain. This is basic structure. You should not be changed. Otherwise, there will be a loss of activity of the amine. 
if you come to the classification, short acting, four to eight hours. Example is sulfa diazine, eight hours. See here, eight hours around the clock, eight hours. The intermediate acting, it is eight to 12 hours. See here, 12 hours, throughout the clock, it will be acting. Sulfa methoxazole is the best example. Long acting, sulfa doxin, seven days it acts. Sulfa methapyrazine, so like that. So short acting, intermediate acting, long acting. And a special purpose sulfonamides uh, we are using for the uh, eye drops, for the skin uh, as an ointment. The tunnel we will see in there. So special offer also there. Okay, sulfa salazine, sulfa diazine, mephanide. Okay. Yeah, first one uh, we will see what is a spectrum that will be inhibited by the sulfonamides. Uh, primarily, it is a bacteriostatic action. In my last video, I have already told what is a bacteriostatic, bacteriocidal. So, sulfonamides, static. Yes, yes, matches. Sulfonamides. See, there is no letter of the C. Here, C. Bacteriostatic. Yes, yes, static. Here also, sulfonamide. Like that, we can match it. Again, it's the many gram positive. Always as a gram negative, also it is very effective, gram positive and gram negative. Uh, it may be acts as a high concentration, acts as a bacteriocidal also. But however, basic action is bacteriostatic. Sensitive patterns among the microbes are changed to time to time and area to area, place to place. Okay, uh, these are the main things. Uh, Streptococcus pyrogens, you can see here, easily killed by the uh, sulfonamides. And uh, hemophilus, hemo means blood. They eats the blood very easily. Hemophilus influenza. That's why here red color, they are in red color. They eats the RBC well. And also Vibrio cholera. Color. You can see here. All three organisms, you can see here. It is acts against the gram positive as well as negative. Primarily, it is acts as a urinary tract infection. Right. And mechanism of action here, uh, how it will be acts. Uh, uh, this is generally the folic acid synthesis is very essential in the organisms, in the organisms, okay? So, this folic acid synthesis will, takes place in this manner. See here, this is the actually process. Now, what we are doing is, sulfur drugs looks like a PABA, paramino, see, we have studied paramino benzoic acid derivative like that, sulfur. Same, it also looks like a same. So that's why sulfur drugs will go and replace the PABA. Instead of PABA, organisms use the sulfur drug. So this entire folic acid synthesis will be prevented, inhibited. So there is no survival of the organisms. Okay, right. Yeah, here you can see this is the same only, same in the first slide what I have shown, uh, same only here also. Bacteria synthesis their own folic acid bacteria. Uh, which is uh, coming from the PABA, paramino benzoic acid. Sulfonamides are the structural similar to PABA. It inhibits the bacterial folate synthetase here, okay? And the formation of the folic acid. So folic acid is essential for the synthesis of DNA of the organism. Finally, there is no DNA synthesis. No, same only. Now you can ask one more doubt, intelligent student. Folic acid synthesis will be reducted. Either it will be happen to the human cells also or not. That was the doubt. See, folic acid we are not synthesized. Uh, see here, human cells are also requires the folic acid. Okay. But they utilize the preformed folic acid supplied in a diet. So we are using a folic acid in the form of a diet. So there is no uh, disturbance of our folic acid consumption by using a sulfur. No disturbance. Resistance to sulfonamides, see here, the organism will getting antibiotic as boxing. It is getting a strength. If you are taking an antibiotic, by using that antibiotic, microorganisms will not be killed. It is getting a resistance. It is using to strengthen their, that's why uh, resistance is very dangerous. Most of bacteria are capable of developing a resistance, uh, resistance to the sulfonamides like a gonococci, pneumococci, staphylococci, areas, all these organisms, E. coli, Sigella, pyrogens, streptoviridins. Bacteria resistance to sulfonamide is originated by the mutation or by the transfer of resistance plasmid. This process also I have explained in my previous video how the resistance will be taken place. And keep in our mind, it is a one for all. 
if suppose uh, sulfuronides is a broad range if one organism got a resistance to one sulfonamide remaining all sulfonamides will become inactive it's a very dangerous that's why it is a resistance to all c one organism is resistance to one sulfonamide particular sulfonamide it gets a resistance to all sulfonamides you had to throw the dust in that dust in all sulfonamides no not useful if sulfamethoxazole is uh, got resistance uh, remaining all drugs will not be worked out and this is a pharmacokinetics they are usually not given topically generally not given generally we are using a tablets readily absorbed from the gat and it crosses the placental barrier and also blood brain barrier easily okay metabolized by the liver acetylation process and also excreted through the kidney the glomerular filtration and main problem is the very important bit is crystal urea is the side effect like this in the urea crystals will be get so that there is a painful uh, delivery of the urine yeah we can come to the each and every drug sulfa diazine first sulfa diazine it is a orally we have to take short acting thrice in day one two three three times a day absorption is rapid oral absorption good penetration brain the tunnel we have some tone liver common excretion through urine okay qid oral tablets tds thrice in day oral tablets sulfa diazine next sulfa methoxazo this is intermediate acting colobus oral tablets bis in day since it is a intermediate acting somewhat uh, greater than that of the short acting this is short acting that's why three times day you have to take whereas uh, here uh, two times a day is enough because twelve hours a day like that absorption is uh, slow absorption oral absorption it is a uh, you can see the sulfa methoxazole plus trimethoprim both are called as a cotrimoxazole back trim ds very powerful uh, medicine this is very useful combination of this brand name also very good oral tablets uh, here you can see and sulfa doxin sulfa methapyrazine it is a long acting okay it is more than action is more than 7 days i have already told it is a greater than one week it is a not suitable for the treatment of acute pyrogenic infections not used okay used in the combination with the uh, uh, other tablets like malaria for treating of the malaria calcifer this is using for the artesian artesians are uh, we are using for the malaria this is a malaria kit so here we are using a sulfa doxin mainly this drug they will ask in the examination which of the following sulfonamide is used as a combining combination for the malaria sulfa doxin and a special i have already told special purpose also uh, this is for eye purpose we are using for eye infection highly soluble compound sulfacetamide sodium sulfacetamide used topically for ocular bacteria ocular ocular bacteria infections uh, ophthalmia neonatrum dosis 10% 20% 30% eye drops is available this is for the special not for the oral another special purpose is silver sulfide skin silver sulfa both yes yes skin like that you can remember uh, dosis 1% cream is available uh, mainly using for the pseudomonas it acts against a large number of bacteria and fungi okay uh, pseudomonas and adverse effects these are all like a stevens johns syndrome hypersensitivity reaction this is very important stevens johnson syndrome is very important sulfonamide steven syndrome okay uh, keto uretics uh, okay like that and uh, interactions here you can see the interaction Uh, it is having interaction with phenytoin and tolbutamine and warfarin it is having a interactions yeah trimethoprim i have already told this is the name of the drug uh, it uh, trimethoprim is a mechanical action i see this is trimethoprim tablet alone this are the spectrum of activity it is a bacteriostatic in the basic nature and the kinetics it, it causes a nausea vomiting skin rashes and also anemia it is one of the biggest problem of trimethoprim allergy causes allergy nausea feeling of the vomiting vomiting real vomiting nausea vomiting skin rashes anemia 
Port rimaxazole is a combination. See, you can see here sulfa methoxazole and trimethoprim. It is a combination uh, introduced in the 19C696. Uh, easy remember, okay? Uh, it is a bacteriostatic. Uh, it is a bactericidal. This combination becomes a cidal, okay? See here, both compounds are bacteriostatic, but this combination becomes a bactericidal. The point is very important. Here, the same thing only you can be explained. Same story, we can, uh, but it acts both. What remarks are told? Dose ratio is a sulfamethoxazole, trimethoprim, pi is to one ratio you had to use. Pi is to one. <coughs> yes, yes. Sulfamethoxazole, pi. Yes, it looks like a yes. Try one. Okay, remaining P is equal to one. It produces a 20 is to 1% plasma concentration uh, because trimethoprim has a greater volume of distribution. That is very, very important uh, than the sulfamethoxazole, okay? Uh, whereas uh, the sulfamethoxazole is a very lesser volume of distribution. That's why it is restricted to the blood only, okay? Right. Yeah, spectrum of activity, both combination, this is combination, uh, exhibits the bactericidal activity. I have already told you this is a combination we are studying. Uh, salmonella typhi, typhoid. First initially, I have told initially one uh, sulfoxamethyl for uh, cholera. This is typhoid also, it comes combination. Okay, enterobacter, new, uh, this is typhoid fever and resistance. Bacteria is acquiring a resistance to trimethoprim through the mutational or plasmid mediated acquisition also and uh, uses mainly your, this combination urinary tract infection as well as a lungs is infection also, respiratory tract infection, okay? Upper and lower respiratory tract infection, chronic bronchitis, okay, etc. and all. Adverse effects uh, should not given in the pregnancy ladies and also used to the elderly because of the, there is a development of the bone marrow toxicity. Very important bit, bone marrow toxicity. Like that here also, it looks like bone. You can uh, keep in your mind, okay? Right. So I will end my session here. You can be download the app. Uh, whatever course you want, you can purchase. All my video contents are available in the form of PDF, right? Okay.